Okay. <laughs> the way I feel, I'm beat. <laughs> well, it's been hot lately. It's been like 90 degrees. From, from, from 9 o'clock to Non-stop. Whew. Well, it was nice that Marcus coming over here working out with you guys. Yeah. He needs it. You got it in the kids' benefit. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what's the pluses from yesterday? Well, really, I mean, it, we had a chance to take a look at a lot of people. We, we saw an offense that is not similar to what we see every day. So it's, it's good to see something other than four wide receivers. Yeah. We saw tight end, we saw two backs. Gave us an opportunity to see, uh, see things that we haven't seen. And I'm sure over the course of the year, we will see things like that in the tight end, in two backs. So it was really good for us. There was a lot of, a lot of things that uh, we learned from the scrimmage. Yeah, so, it was a long scrimmage, I heard. Yeah, but it was really, I thought, yeah. productive, you know? Yeah. We, we had a chance to evaluate all our personnel and, and that kind of stuff. Okay, so the the, the quarterback, Ryder, uh, he, he said he's been having, he, when I interviewed him, he was smiling the whole time. He's like that. He's like that. That's it. He's enjoying what you guys have brought. Well, I don't know. I mean, I always, every time I look at him, he's smiling at me, you know. He, he just, I mean, if he comes to you, he'll be smiling at you. I don't I don't think, you know, if he, even if he doesn't know you, he's a happy-go-lucky, cheerful person. He seems happier than us. I think, I think he said I the, just met him. I know, but it seems like uh, with the offense the way it is, even though um, now the receivers and the quarterback, they have to read a little bit. Uh, it's a challenge, but then I think they're comfortable with it. I talked to Kobayashi too. Everybody seems like they're on the same page. It's just yeah. going smoothly. Well, I, I really, uh, I, I've got some good coaches. I mean, uh, I think Lee Boyd, and I think uh, Jeremiah Cocker, those guys do a great job as I watch. They do a great job coaching them up. I mean, they, I'm just so happy uh, the, way, the way things are going and the way they're coaching. You know, you gotta like what they coach and you see it. And, uh, everything they're doing makes sense. And I think the players buy into that. Yeah. They're learning, you know, they're learning the game of football. And for some of them, it's gonna help them to the next level. You know, what they're learning here is some of the things that they'll be learning in college. So, okay, so quarterback, nice. I think uh, the, the kids backing up Ryder, they look pretty nice too. The sophomore kid. Smooth. Yeah. Yeah. smooth. He's, he's just going to be a sophomore. And, uh, it's always good to have two or three. Just uh, Running back, uh, that boy, uh, Kanan, last year as a backup, he was pretty good. But uh, one of the other players says, watch out, he's going to have a, he's explosive, he's going to have a big year. Oh, Ray Ray. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't miss Ray Ray. I think he's, uh, he can catch too. He can catch. I mean, he's got he's got a little giddy up, uh, tough kid. You know, compact, compact. Yeah, solid. We uh, re really like his uh, his attitude and his his uh, ability, athletic ability. It's been a long time though since you guys had um, yeah. big boy. Like Prince Brown was the last big boy you guys had. Yeah, but Prince Brown. It's a luxury, right? Prince Brown. I know. Prince is he's in Hilo now. Oh. Prince Brown. Uh, the receiving core with Kobayashi and I think with uh, Alan Kui, they, they started last year. Uh, now yeah. these other guys are coming in. And they, I like, I like, I, I really, Cyril is another one. Cyril? Cyril. And uh, the other one is Salas. What is Cyril's first name? Cyril? Cyril is what? Cash. Cash. Oh, right. okay. Cash, Cyril. Salas is what? Not Ricky, eh? Ricky. Rico. The Rico father. Rico. Oh. That's his brother. Son. Son. Rico. Oh, his son. <laughs> his son. Wow. But you know, the receiving, I mean, Kobayashi seemed like he's enjoying it too. Yeah. I think they enjoy it because they're learning and that the coaches are coaching them up, you know, I mean, teaching them. And, and when they have success, I mean, they got a credit, you know. Coaching, I think, 
really. I watch the way they being coached. To me, that's it's not like you know, run out. Anybody can teach yeah. to run out, catch the ball. But how to run? How to get away from the defender? That to me is important. Yeah, it's asking a lot from high school kids. But you proved, you guys proved together for two decades yeah. that well, they can they can learn it. Yeah. They can learn the college stuff. No, there's no question. It's still fundamentals. And if the things they, that they know, I mean, if you got a guy that's really talented, you can always be the guy who's not very fast or tall and all that. But for a beater, when you get good people covering you, then you have to do things. And I think they have that. The offensive line played well yesterday? I thought they did well. Uh, it's a kind of a veteran with uh, Fred. Fred. You got CJ, center. Uh, Goes, uh, Herbig. Mm. I hate to see Herbig's from out of, out of Islands, and you know, you know that. Like, oh, he recruiting again. Well, I think I think you don't have to worry about that anymore because Miano at Kaiser last year took the cake. So <laughs> unless you bring in, you know, forty guys, but the thing is like. We get to the teachers we can talk to that talk about that because you can't bring in guys to play right away that's it's difficult the freshmen have to sit anyway but uh, with Fred he mentioned that uh, you know certain things are a little bit different where they have to stay on their guy they have to pin the guy inside if they say rider rolls out and so he said it's a little more challenging but that's the way you guys have been teaching it for so long yeah it works yeah and that's what you can do things that uh, you have had, had success with no use changing anything. So we're just doing the same thing. And of course, Ronald with the offense. I mean, he, he knows that offense. He's with June all that time. And he knows the blocking scheme. So it's a big, it's a big plus. You know? yeah. the, the, the general feeling with Ryder is if, if you're wide open, you can take the first down, but don't look to run too much. Oh, That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. No, no. No question. I mean, he's smart enough. I think what he has to is that touch. You, sometimes you got to take a little bit off, yeah. but he really has a nice touch. Yeah, because once he rolls past the hash mark, there's usually somebody coming and somebody got open. So. Yeah, and he's smart enough to know he's not going to outrun anybody. Yeah. Uh, so defense, this is where I looked at last year, the year before. The school got smaller, the roster got smaller, not enough depth. They had Saka Polutelli and some guys, but not much depth on the D-line. And whoever comes in to play for you, and there's going to be, like, I know there's a lot now, but they can't play right away, so you can't really do a whole lot to, to shore up the D-line until next year, probably. So that means there's pressure on the offense, right? Yeah. I, I, I think offensively, you know, I'm real pleased the way it's going, you know. And we need that because until the defense picks up. But you know, there's really some questions that we have to fill our, our down linemen, of course. You know, we don't have kind of people that you, know, that you need up front. Uh, numbers. Numbers is thin. Linebackers, I don't think there's any returning linebacker, honestly. One DB. So, honestly, I think you had these guys would know. How many starters coming back? One, one starter. Was he a starter? There's one. There's one plus to it, though. You get to mold them exactly the way you want. No, true, true. I mean, teach them the way you want it to be done. And get better doing okay. it. Does Fred remind you of anybody that you coach? I'll tell you what. And when I say nasty, I say it in a football way. Yeah, yeah. You know, not being that he's a third. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not Conrad Dobler. <laughs> Oh no, not Conrad Dobler. I know that. But he's just an intense. Actually, I, I think Fred would be a hell of a defensive lineman. Yeah, yeah. I tried to tell him to come on. Yeah. Yeah. But he's. He might have to at some point. Yeah. And, and I think we might have to you know, spot him. Yeah. But the only guy that. And I think this is huge comparisons. 
a guy like that. If you want to really make the, the, the point of how good he is, I would compare him to uh, Roots. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, the same, the same that scene. Compact. Yeah. And don't take crap. Don't take finish crap. any finishes. Finish everything. Until I, you're on the I, ground. Would, <laughs> I would put him in that category after watching him do the things he's doing here. The guy loves the game. I mean Olin just I mean wanted to practice because he had to, you know, he, he liked the physical physicalness of football. Do you think Fred down the line is gonna be a center and he kinda right. got plays every position? No, exactly. I mean Olin was here and I think I think Fred's taller than Olin. Yeah, Fred's pretty tall. Yeah, yeah. about six but, two and a half. But Olin isn't very tall. Yet. I mean, top maybe maybe six two. Olin in high school played what? Guard. No, he was tackle. Played tackle. Right. Uh, yeah. And he was bigger. But he's two seventy five and he looks like he could play. I mean he's like Yeah. Fred 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 no. says oh Olin. Olin was two seventy five. Oh, in high school. No. Now. Like right now. Right now. Oh, okay, okay. He was bigger in high school than he was than he is now. So he got quicker. Oh yeah. A lot and of course, you know, I mean, taking care of himself, yeah. what to eat now, and blah, blah, blah. But I really think, Fred, I haven't seen a guy like that in a long time. You know, I mean, even in college. I mean, you know, I'm sure there's guys in college like that, but a high school guy, the way he plays, I, even only. Now, Olin was here. Olin was watching. And even he coming. Like, wow. Yeah. That guy. Yeah, he got. He got lateral. He can move lateral. Yeah. And he I, finishes. Like, yeah. I mean, well, watching him play basketball, his, I, his I, agility I, is I interesting. I cannot believe he played basketball. Yeah. He's he's something on the basketball really? court. Yeah, because he knows he's not not the scorer, but he can shoot a little bit. But he can move. He can move, he's, he's, he's got finesse. He's I, mean, got I never saw him run, really, yeah. until yeah. he came out here. I'm thinking, this, how can he play basketball? Yeah. I think he's got, I think maybe that probably helped him too, basketball, yeah. you know what I mean? But he's got the good feet, he's got, he's strong as an ox. You know, I was thinking he'll be, a, he'll be a good goal line back, but then who's going to take his place? You know, blocking, so. But he is a handful, no question. But I like him so much, I compare him to yeah. him. And I, I mean, don't have to put this in the paper, but I, I think that guy, I, mean, I, I would not be surprised if he goes to the next Yeah, yeah. In, in a sense that after he leaves here as a senior, like Olin, he starts someplace yeah. as a true freshman. Yeah. Well, he said he's committed. Well, he committed he to UCLA him. during that visit, which I, I thought was interesting because they're gonna still offer him down the road. Other schools will still try and recruit him. That's how it goes. For him. Okay, so the last question is, okay. uh, this is a tough one, but do you feel pressure because basically St. Louis has struggled financially and thought about going COVID and all that stuff, right? I I can't work. Do you feel I, like? I I don't really Cal, worry about Cal and Ron are saving the school, that kind of stuff. I, I, I don't even, I can't even think about that. I just want to teach these kids, they want to learn football. And, you know, I mean, we all know, we teach them football, but, you know, life skills about being on time, responsibility and to themselves, to the other teammates, that kind of stuff. I used to think, oh, when I was young, young, young. Just win. Winning is big. <coughs> when you learn that you're not only teaching them what football, teach them what life skills. You know, when you when you find out that here's a guy that went to college, he becomes a doctor. The guy you coach, he's a lieutenant governor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, and here are guys that you know they're whatever profession they're in. They're thankful for what you did. And you start thinking, well, what did I do? But it's more than that. It's about being disciplined, dedicated, you know. Not only here. If you're going to be here on time in football, you're going to be on time with being school. You know, it just carries on. I mean, how, how you act, 
how you act in the locker room. You know, you just don't tear up the locker room. Take care of the locker room. And I think those lessons carry over. You know what I mean? Because they're just programmed. You know? Oh, we practiced at four. We got better. Four o'clock is late. Yeah. You know. So I enjoy coaching. I don't know if I answered the question. This, 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 this. I also want to win. Them. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I think this year guys gonna win some games, 50 to 49. But then in about two years, you'll be back to winning games more like 28, 7, you know, giving up 3.7 points, point zero. I know you're defensive guys, so that's that's a little more balanced. Yeah, no, no, you're right. But until, thank goodness, our offense, I think, you know, well, how much points, has? You know, we stop a couple of times. But I'm counting on those guys. Thanks, coach. Good seeing you. Hey, that wasn't too bad. See, I might do it.